custom quilt boxes are very easy to create. And I like this concept of matching photos usually with inspirational quotes. One of the things that I've noticed in these quotes is that they often use a font that looks like it's handwritten. And this is one that I found, and it's called Architect's Daughter. I like that a lot. And this one is called Rabio Head. And you can, on, on the next uh, slide here, I have the URL of a, a website you can go to for free, not only for free fonts, but they have a lot of free fonts, called fontsquirrel.com. And I found these there. And they have a, a section called handwritten, I think that's what it's called. And so you'll find a bunch of fonts. You have to be careful that the fonts are legible. Some of them are really not that legible. Uh, this one is called uh, Lucida Handwriting, and this is also uh, Architect's Daughter. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to copy it and put it over here. And I'm going to start looking for images that will work with this quote. So insert and clip art. In 2013, this will be called Online Pictures, I think. So different versions, it's called something different. And in 2013, you'll be in a dialog box. So here, uh, it, it remembers what I searched for last. But if you want photographs, the secret is to deselect illustrations. And, you'll, and you won't get very many videos and audio e anyway. So I'm going to start with the shore, see what I can find for that. Now, because Christopher Columbus traveled a long time ago, I'm not looking for things that show a lot of sign of civilization. So I want something more. No, natural. Here's one. Well, it still has some people in it, I think, or something in it. So those are some possibilities. And I'm also going to look for beach, just because it's another word for sure, and see what I get. So. This is the same one over here that I have before. But I have some others here. They look a little bit different. It's certainly too big. And here's another one, kind of similar. This one has a sailboat on it, which might be appropriate for Christopher Columbus. And here's an interesting one. It actually looks like a painting, but I like the texture of it. And here's another one that I like too. And you want to consider the to some extent the shape compared to the shape of your of your quote. And you also want to find something that you can make so I think that's it. That you can make the that the text will be legible on. So I actually like this and this, and I think I'll get rid of these others, but you could use them. So let's try both of them. You can size it however you want. I'm going to take the quote, click it on its border so that I am not in edit text mode, and put it up here. So the first thing I need to do is right-click this, the, the image, and send it to the back so that this is in the front. And obviously, that's not a good color. So I'm going to select it and make it white. Okay, so that's a good start. It kind of fades a little bit here. There are lots of things I could do with this. For example, I'm just pressing Enter here, so I could do that. And then by adjusting the the borders of this, I can change how the how the text wraps. For example, I could make it take less space like this, or I think I'd rather have it go down a little bit further, something like that. I could decrease one of these, and I could I might say I don't really need all of this, so I could crop the image. I'm selecting it on the Format tab, Crop. I could get rid of a little bit of the bottom. It seems to make you look out further more because you're not looking down as much. So, and here you kind of, this is sort of fading away a little bit, the, the shore. So that's a nice metaphor for losing sight of the shore, the fact that the text is kind of 
fading away a little bit. So I think that's great. Here you have two objects. You can group them, but you don't have to. I can drag across both of them, right click, put my cursor back on top, right click and choose Save as Picture, and I'll get a picture of, the, of all of that. So here, let's do this again with this one. I will crop this because I think it's a little too wide. It's just needed to be a little bit narrow. What's so cool about this one is that you know you can it's so um, unspecific that I, I can crop it anyway and it doesn't make any any difference. So I'm going to copy and paste and put this here. So here I think I need the text to be dark. So let me find something dark. I think I'm gonna like a dark blue here, but I could actually maybe leave that there, leave it white on that dark part. So you just want to be aware of the different possibilities where you could put it, or I could move it all the way at the bottom and make it dark again. Okay, do you like those? Beautiful work on the Chris Columbus quote. Thanks for the web I was looking for one, oh, oh yeah, for one with calligraphy. People like that font squirrel. Yes, nice, classy, love it, yes, good.